I'm so excited because you guys, I have reached the pinnacle of parenting, the mountaintop of motherhood. My boy is potty trained. Yay! <laughs> Say hi, buddy. Hi, Welcome Thank to the channel. <laughs> So today's video is basically to let you guys know that uh, I don't know what I'm doing at all. No clue. Don't know what I'm doing. Never do really. I have no idea. So let's talk about it. I'm basically going to be giving you my methods and what I did to get King potty trained in under a week. Okay. Let me just start out with a disclaimer and saying that I was terrified of potty training. I am a first time mom. I'm sure I'm not the only mom who has no clue what she's doing. There were so many different methods that were being thrown at me. I didn't know which one would work, which one to pick. I was so confused. So basically I just started at square one. My initial thought was to let King be ready to go to the potty. I wanted him to understand the concept and have a good idea of what it meant to have to go potty. Although I did take time to kind of get him to understand the concept, I would take him to the potty, get him to sit down. He still pretty much refused. And on top of that, I wasn't really pushing him because I was nervous myself. I was kind of in a sense just stalling because I didn't know what to do. So one day I just decided, look, he's going to go to school in September. He's going to be three in March. We started in February. I want him to be completely potty trained. By the time he gets to school and i want him to be at least somewhat potty trained by the time he turns three so one day i decided just take off the pamper i had looked up on youtube about different ways to potty train i found a mother who said that she just simply took the pamper off at first that method it was a little bit weird to me i was like so you're just gonna let the kid pee all over the place but it was better than trying to remember to go take him and sit down and pee every 15 minutes as a mom 15 minutes goes by in 30 seconds in in my mind i'm always doing something trying to do laundry or clean this or pick up that it just didn't register to me to ask him every 15 minutes i just figured like hey if i take the pamper off now it'll train my mind to remember to ask him if he has to go potty because i know that he's gonna pee and it's gonna end up on the floor and i'm gonna have to clean it up so <laughs> So I decided to go with that method. I just let him run free. <laughs> the first day that I used that method, around nap time, I decided to put his pull-up back on. Before his head hit the pillow, that pamper was filled to capacity. I was like, what the heck? So he had been holding it from around 10 a.m. to around 3. And I'm like, hmm, you understand a little bit more than I think you do that kind of gave me a little bit more confidence or a little bit more push in knowing that he was ready for the first maybe two days we were in the house i would ask him every 15 minutes or so if he had to pee most times he would tell me no but i would notice that he was doing the pee pee dance i would just tell him like hey go sit down and go pee and he would pee but he never really peed with the pamper off what i noticed was he wasn't going number two so around the third day, it was obvious that he was just trying to hold everything because he didn't want to get on the potty. We had to leave on the third day and I put his pamper on and he would sneak away into his room and go number two. So he did that twice. I was like, okay, I have to make sure he never has this pull up on until he understands the concept. So we stayed in the house for the next at least four days, which we don't go out that much anyways. But if I have to run errands or anything, we go out and I just did not go anywhere so that he could eventually just give up on holding it and go potty. While all this was going on and we're in the house, I would ask him periodically, you know, do you have to pee pee? Do you have to go potty? He always told me no. I would also make sure I told him to tell me when he had to go because I didn't want him to think that, that him having to go potty was something that he had to keep to himself basically. So if I asked him if he had to go potty and he said no, I'd say, okay, make sure you just tell me when you have to go, okay? And he kind of got used to that and he would come to me and say, mommy, go potty. He kind of got used to that 
scenario. One thing I did to help him kind of get potty trained quickly as well was that I put his potty in whatever room we were in. That way he didn't feel like he was leaving whatever he was engaged in, whether it was his iPad or if it was whatever he was playing with at the time or even me because I might be in another room or whatever room we were in I just put the potty there so that he knew he wasn't by himself and that he didn't have to feel scared to try to run to the potty it was right there it was accessible and he could just go and especially with not having on a pamper or I'm sorry I keep saying pamper but it's pull up without having that on anyways it was just so much quicker and easy access for him one thing I did not do in his potty training journey was I did not give him rewards for going potty. I know a lot of parents do this, but I really just don't believe in giving rewards for doing things you're supposed to do. I didn't want him thinking like, oh, well, if I go to the potty, then I get candy or I get a cookie. I just really wanted him to understand that this is a daily part of your life. This is what you have to do. And that's just that. With that being said, I did purchase a potty that sings a little song after he goes every time he would go he really got a kick out of the song and my reaction to it so he did get the praise that he needed to encourage him to go again to the potty but I really just didn't want it to seem like oh this is what you get when you go to the potty you get a reward now as he grows I'm not gonna give him things for doing his chores. I'm not gonna necessarily give him things for getting good grades. That's gonna be his job. So his job is to use the potty. I don't wanna rant on about this subject, but yes, he will get things for doing well in school and doing things like that, but it's gonna be expected for him to do well in school. It's not gonna be a big deal. It's gonna be like, yeah, uh -huh, that's what you're supposed to do. All right. After maybe around like the fifth day, I really realized that he was completely potty trained. He was asking me to go. He was telling me when he had to go. He was even holding it at stores if we were out. He would tell me like, hey, I gotta go potty. And where we live in proximity to the stores that we go to, there's a long way home. I would drop everything to go home so that he could use the potty. Right now, of course, there's a worldwide pandemic. Nobody wants to take their child into a public bathroom. I didn't want to take my child into a public bathroom before the pandemic started. So, you know, there we have that. I brought him home and he held it until we got home to pee. So I was really excited about that. That really let me know that he understands peeing in the potty. So at that point, I decided to purchase some training pants, which I kind of expected to be more like plastic pampers or something. They're really just like thick underwear. So, you know. Just if you're going to buy some training pants, just know that they're underwear, but they're just like a little thicker material in the little PP area. So he actually took to those just fine. Right now, when we go out, I still put on a pull up only just to be extra, extra safe, just in case we can't make it home really quickly. But while we're around the house, he does wear his training pants. Also bought him underwear as well. I have to set up an underwear drawer for him. <laughs> My baby's so big now. First, my initial thought was to potty train him on the adult toilet. I thought against it because I wanted him to be a little bit more comfortable and also be very mobile. Being able to put the potty wherever he was in the house was like a big thing for me. I just wanted him to be able to not feel scared in the bathroom by himself if he needed to sit for a long time. Putting him on a baby potty was very important to me. But if you are thinking about potty training your child on an adult toilet, make sure that you get something that they're able to plant their feet on, a stool or the potty that has the little steps on it. Because I was told that if you're potty training on the adult toilet and they're trying to like push, not being able to plant their feet could possibly cause them a hernia. So that's something, I mean, I'm not a doctor and I don't know, I've never experienced that. It's what I was told. So do look into that and know about that before you make those moves just to be on the safe side. Now at this point, we're working on transitioning to the big boy potty, which is just crazy to even think about. I do have a potty for him that is equipped to sit on top of that, that he can climb up on. I'm gonna maybe put a picture here or here or somewhere. I'll put a picture of it so you guys know what I'm talking about. So we're working on the big boy potty. We're also working on how to go in public as well as getting him trained to go overnight.
I am going to be trying to get him a portable potty that we can take out with us when we have to leave the house and run errands or anything like that. So I do want to have that on hand because they do have those. I, I just learned that. So I'm going to be looking into buying him one of those. And actually, as far as his overnight potty training, the other night he woke up and he told me he needed to go potty at about three in the morning. And I was like, great. Yeah. Hopefully you don't do this all the time at three in the morning <laughs> with overnight training you know i just have to be mindful of how much liquid he intakes before bed i'm just going to be paying attention to things like that until he really can wake up and go on his own so you guys i don't know if these methods are going to work for every child in every situation for every parent i'm a new mom so this is just you know what i try will work for me hopefully it'll work for you guys as well but to be honest king has always been really really good and transitioning to new things from getting off his pacifier at five months to transitioning from the bottle to the cup from co-sleeping to sleeping in the crib all these things he really really just did well at transitioning into so i don't know if i just came up with really good methods or if he was showing me mercy because he knew that I didn't know what the heck I was doing. <laughs> Whatever which way, I'm happy we're past the biggest hurdle of this potty training thing. Now we're just going to start working on overnights, uh, public pottying, and, and transitioning to the big potty. So yeah, that's where we are, you guys. So hopefully some of these methods or some of what I did was helpful to you. Thank you so much for watching. I will keep you guys posted on how things go and if you like videos like this and you want to see more make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more of our videos thank you so much for watching please like and comment and subscribe it really helps my channel do you want to say something yeah come on all right say bye everybody bye, say like like comment bye. and subscribe bye. see you next time bye, bye. bye. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Welcome to the Welcome channel. To channel. Give some more energy. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi, buddy. Ready. Welcome to the <laughs> channel. <laughs> Say hi, buddy. <laughs> Welcome to the channel. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's get serious. Serious. All right. <laughs> Alright. Alright, say again. Say hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Look over here. Hi, buddy. Why can we chat King, are you all potty chained? Yeah. You go you go pee pee on the potty? Yeah. You like go pee pee on the potty? Yeah. Are you a big boy? Yeah. <laughs> You're a big boy. Yeah. <laughs> Say pee pee in the potty. Pee pee in the potty. Pee pee in the potty. Stop looking at yourself. Look, look, look at the camera lens. Yeah. Stop looking at yourself. You're so full of yourself, aren't you? Mm. <laughs> What's the potty song? Ah, where did be? Yeah. Pop, pop, pop.
か？